Hey, what's happening, guys? We've talked about this device in the past. This is the super cheap, I mean, it's like seven, eight dollars component tester, transistor tester. You, know, you take your component, whatever it is, there's a little PNP transistor. You put it in here, press the button, you wait a few seconds, presto magico, it tells you it's a PNP emitter on pin one, base on pin two, collector on pin three. And it is smart enough that if you put it in backwards, it can usually figure it out. Collector, base, emitter, one, two, three, just like that. These are great. I know a lot of you guys use them. I use it too. But uh, basically, it's based on an Atmega chip, so just microcontroller. What about if we build our own based on a class AB amplifier? Could we do that? I think we can. So let's have our positive rail. Three volts is all we need. And our ground rail. Okay. Then uh, we'll, have, we'll do an NPN transistor here. And we will do a PNP transistor here. So this will be our collector, emitter, base. Same here, collector, emitter, base. And what we'll do is we'll take our collector here from the NPN bias it with I don't know 1k 1k should do it 1k transistor into the base there and we'll put a diode here LED of course that will be our indicator and we'll run this For a resistor, say, 22K, somewhere in that range. I mean, you don't have to be precise. And this guy can go directly to ground. We're going to need to bias the base here. Somewhere about 220K. In that range, you see you want to be about 10 times, 10 times difference. We don't have to be perfect or, or exact or anything. And finally, we're going to put a capacitor in here like that. 10 microfarad will do it. And that will be our circuit. Now. This is not going to be as sophisticated as this guy's, which tells you the gain and everything else. It will tell you three important pieces of information. Number one, does your transistor work? Number two, is it NPN or PNP? And number three, what are the arrangements of the pins? Okay? You guys got that? Here's our circuit. Just as I drew it, this is our NPN, this is our PNP. These two are working. Transistors, this is emitter, base, collector, and this one is the same, emitter, base, collector, one, two, three. And I did that for a reason. All right, now I'm gonna power up here with three volts. And you can see we get a flash. That tells us that both of these transistors are working. Now, if I pull out a transistor, the circuit no longer works. And if I put a PNP transistor in place of the NPN, it doesn't work. That would be the same as putting in a bad NPN transistor 
Also, if I put our NPN transistor in backwards, it does work. So, if you try and put a PNP or a bad NPN in here, it won't work. If you try to put, that's what I said, right? If I put a bad NPN or a good PNP in the lower place, it won't work. If you try and put a bad PNP or a bad NPN into the PNP slot, it won't work. So it tells you they work, it tells you the pin arrangement, and it tells you whether they're PNP or NPN. With this incredibly simple little circuit, we can adjust the biasing here with this. See how that controls the flash rate of our, our little oscillator? Pretty simple. An easy circuit, something you can make in a couple minutes. If you've got kids and you want to teach them a little bit about electronics, this is a super simple circuit to make. Nothing to it. The component values aren't critical. You want to keep them close in this range. But, uh, yeah, that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thank you to each and every one of my patrons for helping support this channel, keeping it alive, allowing us to get the components that we need, and uh, just keep on keeping on. And big thanks to you guys for watching and commenting. All right, that's it. I'm out, man. Peace.